Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25145. Microsoft released another build for the dev channel today. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this new Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. Before doing anything, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before continuing the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by HitPaw Video Converter. HitPaw Video Converter is a software that allows converting videos to a thousand plus formats and devices as well as save videos from popular websites with a single click. The software has 90 times faster video conversion speed without losing quality. It has a very simple and intuitive interface and to start converting just add your files, select the format you want to convert the files to, select the output location and then click on convert all. You also have the download and edit sections where you can get videos from different websites and edit files that you added in the software. Download HitPaw Video Converter today from the link in the description below and don't forget to use the coupon code for a 30% discount. First of all, in this build we have a new narrator braille driver solution which we can install of course on our system, it won't come as default. But first of all, we will need to remove the current braille support narrator in Windows 11 and then install the new one. I'm just going to show you qu quickly how you can do that. And of course, I'm not going to talk about in depth about this because I don't think that this is really interesting. So just go into the settings app, go into apps and then go to optional features. And here you should just search for accessibility braille support and uninstall it. In my case, I don't have it installed. That's good. And now to install the new one, just go into settings again, then accessibility, then go to narrator. And here you should have braille, use a braille display with narrator, click on it and you have the button download and install braille. And after you download it and install it, you will be able to go back into the narrator screen and then braille again down here and select the display driver used by your third party screen reader from the braille display driver. Microsoft is also bringing OneDrive storage alert and subscription management and settings. Of course, we're talking about the accounts page and here you will be able to find more info and more and more integrations with the Microsoft 365 and other Microsoft services. Of course, if you want to find out more info about this, go ahead and check out the article down below in the description and also pay attention that this feature and the new additions that Microsoft brought in this build will only be available for a small number of insiders because they are trying to test this out at first. Microsoft is also introducing local administrator password solution in this build and of course this will bring a lot of settings, a lot of useful settings for IT administrators. For example, you're going to be able to extend your Active Directory schema by running the update labs add schema. Also add the necessary permissions on your computer's OU. Also new objects that you can enable and a whole bunch of other stuff that you're going to find listed in the article down below. To find this, just go into computer configuration in the local group policy editor, then go into administrative templates, then system, and down here you should find labs, which is this thing, and you're going to see here a lot of things that you can do, and of course enable, disable, and stuff like that using this new solution from Windows 11. Regarding changes and improvements, Microsoft is bringing to all Windows insiders the new app usage history features, and you can find this by going to this into the settings app of course then privacy and security and you should have here app permissions and if you click on a certain app for example camera you're going to have here below recent activity and you're going to be able to see a lot of useful info about every app that is used on windows 11 of course recent activity including where it was accessed the app of course the time and so on also the suggested actions which began rolling out in the build at 25,115 is now available to all windows insiders in the us canada and mexico also so another new interesting addition in the file explorer is that if you middle click a folder in the body of file explorer this will now open it in a new tab which is actually unreal for me because <laughs> finally Microsoft is actually working on the tabs and bringing a lot of useful additions to this and this is really useful in my opinion just middle click on it it will be opened in the new tab and you can easily use it basically this is all there is to it regarding changes and improvements not a lot in this build but we're moving slowly but surely now let's talk about some fixes in this build. Microsoft fixed a bug check that some insiders were experiencing with system thread exception not handled related to USBs. Regarding tabs in the file explorer, Microsoft fixed a few things regarding the tabs navigation and of course you can now navigate with your keyboard with no issues by pressing tab or F6 as you can see here. Of course as in every build we have a whole bunch of fixes regarding the settings app, also regarding Bluetooth and devices, the Wi-Fi section, quick settings and so on. So Microsoft is clearly working on improving the settings app even more. 
more and a quick fix regarding the task manager you can use the combinations control plus page app and control plus page down to navigate through pages in the task manager which i think is really useful basically this is the build 25,145 from microsoft today for the dev channel i hope you like this video if you did don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech based until next time have a nice day